Hey, Lauren here, Tyler, and we're going to record uh, this installment for learning uh, Netlify CMS learning resources. We have a new content type to go over with you. It's very exciting. Take yeah. it away, Tyler. Absolutely. So I'm going to share my screen. Uh, so we've been working this quarter on the comparison pages. Um, and so right now, uh, slash DevOps. Uh, so this is what they are right now. We've got this static image that has the comparisons. Um, and we have actually converted this over to a dynamic component that reads from a YAML file Netlify CMS, which I'm really excited about. So um, we've got the Netlify CMS and we've actually, and um, thanks to Alita and the whole um, uh, competitive team who's like done all the data entry for this, uh, really appreciate it. Uh, we actually have sort of this first batch of comparison pages in the system already. Um, so I'll be editing like actual data of the things. Um, so, uh, you know, as always, um, you know, a good place to start is, um, that's my dog. <laughs> uh, good place to start is about.gitlab.com slash admin. Um, and that'll take you um, just here. It'll drop you in there by default. Um, and then you can click comparison pages. If you want to go see the existing ones, uh, you can always create a new one um, or edit the existing ones. And let's actually just create a new one. and We'll just call it like Atlassian 2. Atlassian 2. Right. And so this is the form. So uh, it needs a title. Uh, it needs a slug. This actually needs to correspond with um, the existing names of these platforms. Uh, so if you have been working on this, um, it just needs to match like what we already have in the existing comparison pages because we're sort of like integrating this component with the existing one. So if you see that it like doesn't show up, um, you can compare against the um, the existing data files. And, and that's what I've been doing this morning to troubleshoot some of my own issues. Um, but this slug will also name the file. So, um, and there's some, uh, there's some examples for, for what we should do for the slugs. Um, there's an option, uh, so optionality between uh, full comparison of all of the feature sets or comparing as a single tool. So um, like Bitbucket, for example, is a single tool comparison where we're only comparing, comparing the, the source code management. So if we were actually doing, uh, let's call it Bitbucket too, right? If we're doing Bitbucket, bucket, you would select single tool in the single tool options, turn that on. And then you also have to specify which category. Um, and so this is source code management, right? And so this will tell the component like, hey, only render out the scores for that. And then you can, you can leave everything else blank or as is, it'll just ignore it entirely. Um, but let's go back to, let's call this Atlassian 2 for now. Um, so we'll skip single tool options in this example and then choose an image. Um, so we have some already, right? So you can see um, here's the existing Atlassian one. You can choose selected, you can upload it. Um, we're looking for square SVGs ideally um, and we've got the dimensions here. Um, so reach out if you don't have one available and we'll figure it out, but that's to go into the new Figma design for this. Um, and then there's, uh, so uh, we have all these um, categories. They'll default to zero. Um, so the way this works is we grade on um, for each feature, like, you know, can this can this platform import data? Um, zero is no, they cannot. One is that there's partial support for importing and two is full support. Um, I think this information is like controlled by competitive marketing. So I don't know much more about the actual criteria on this and you should reach out to them. Um, I imagine anyone who's actually editing this should be on that team and, and know more about this <laughs> than I do anyways. But um, just to be super clear, uh, yeah, it's zero, one or two. This actually has a maximum. Um, I'm hitting my up arrow and it won't go past two. So you actually, you can't, there's no way to, to input an invalid value. So you're, you're good. You will, and you can't go lower than zero. So, so no worries. You'll, you'll always so choose cool. the valid one. <laughs> yeah. um, there's a minimum and a maximum here. Um, so, you know, no worries on that. Although of course, you know, it may be incorrect if you're to get in your, your cross-referencing wrong, but that's that's a different problem. Um, so you go through here and you, and you, and you just mark everything. Um, you know, there, there are so many categories, I'm not going to demo doing that, <laughs> um, but that's what you would do here. Um, so let's say you've gone through and you've, you know, updated everything, um, et cetera. Uh, that's it. The, the only fields that we have here are title, slug, the logo, and then each of the like comparison sets of data um, and maybe single tool options if that's relevant. Um, once you've built it out, you save it. 
Um, it's going to probably take a solid amount of time, uh, depending on the state of the repository at the time of saving. So this is just going to keep on going. Um, but while that runs, uh, let's see if I can um, show folks the... So this, this is the draft MR, so I can show you where what this is going to look like. Um, so here, it'll look like this. This is actually, so this is one of the single tool comparisons. Um, and so here's the other cool thing too, is if, if you don't have, so I'm just gonna guess that here. Um, oh, Jenkins, okay, we do actually have Jenkins in it. Um, I'm trying to think about what, Basically, uh, for pages that don't have this information, um, and I don't know, uh, <laughs> the only ones that come to mind for me are the ones that I've done and I know that have it. Um, this one might be broken um, for other reasons. But basically, if this doesn't exist, it'll it'll fall back to the old image. Um, so you're oh. so like we're rolling this out incrementally as data goes. Um, you can I broke a thing this morning. So there are things that are broken, but um, <laughs> once this MR is up there, the functionality will be basically if you have, if you have a file in here, it will use the new template. If you don't, just use the old stuff. Don't worry about it. So um, this switch is going to be very incremental and it is like a two-way door. So we don't have to worry about the old ones. We don't have to do all of them at once. We are fortunate that we are upgrading a bunch at once, which will be nice for the for the tier one competitors, but um, we don't need to be blocked by anything. Um, something good to note here, uh, I had gotten confused and Alita, if you're watching this, I'm sorry because I know I had confused you. Um, you can't actually publish from here. Uh, we've gone over this in the past and I had forgotten. Um, publishing is locked to people who are owners of the repository. You have to go through and, and actually do the MR. So this file is saved um, and you can see uh, pend like in this same, is it? No, it's not if I see my draft, right? Yeah, pending draft. Depends on where it is in the editorial workflow. Right, so this one is in draft right now. So you can actually see create comparison pages at Lassian 2. Um, and so what you'll want to do is, you know, you can draft if you want to see the actual MR itself. Um, you know, so this created it and it's running through the pipeline. And so assuming that Atlassian 2 was actually a real thing, you would see, you would have a review app where you could see the changes there on that page. Um, and then you could move it from draft to ready. And then once you're in ready, I think I actually have this open another tab here pending it's in pending publish now and so from here so you cannot you cannot publish from the publish button which i know is uh like you'll see it if you're a maintainer and if you if you aren't then you won't be so confused um and then from here you have to actually do like the thing you would do with a merge request so yeah um and yeah and then once that merges in you know you'll get these cool uh the excellent new component for this uh, that Tina designed and uh, we're very excited about. So um, I think that's, I think that covers it. Um, did I miss anything that we should go over? Uh, about that? Hey, Do you have any questions? Really, really take a look at that review app. Yes. Um, because that is, that is what it's going to look like when it deploys and deploying it from the MR is great because you can watch it go through the pipeline and you yeah. can make sure that the data is linted right and there aren't any hiccups there. Yeah, yeah, but I'm um, really excited. Um, I've got a couple of snafus to take care of between today and next week. We're also, we're not launching this until next week uh, because of the release post. Uh, we don't push like big changes to the website during the release post time frame. Um, so this should be up next week. Um, and, uh, but yeah, we're gonna hit it by the end of the month, which is gonna be awesome. Yeah. There's cool. a, I one thing I want to, um, finish the, the video with, um, which is our, uh, let me share my screen. <laughs> um, we have this great Epic here in band marketing, Epic 224. And this is where we're collecting um, issues for Netlify CMS admin, interface changes and infrastructure updates. And this is kind of the bucket of work that where we're putting this. Um, so if you come across an issue, um, that's a good one to check out to see if it's already been reported. And if not, add it in there so that we're aware of it and we can um, work on it.
Cool. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks for joining. Later.